To facilitate loading, the back of the cradle can be tilted down. Guide brackets determine the position of the roll and where the material feeds onto the cutter. Leave a 2 cm or 3 quarter inch gap on either side of the roll. Some of the material can now be rolled off and, by lifting the dancer bar, easily thread it through the feeder. Two light sensors capture the edge of the material. With the roll centered in the cradle, align the sensors according to where the edge of the material should be on the cutting surface. Repeatedly advance and reverse the material a bit to check the settings. Depending on the properties of the material, the tension of the dancer bar must be adjusted. This is done by moving the counterweight. If the counterweight is set too light, the dancer bar won't reach it. Ideally, the dancer bar, when released, should only lightly hit the stop. If the weight is set too heavy, you will see and hear the dancer bar hitting too forcefully. Set properly, the dancer bar will stay within the proper range during advances. A micro switch mounted on the dancer bar detects any problems that may occur during advances. If anything triggers the switch, the cutter stops advancing. Once the problem is resolved, push the Enable button to resume feeding. A high resolution encoder and the position of the dancer bar control the speed of the feeder. The parameter MET% percent is used to set the speed differential. A negative value creates slight tension or pull on the material, which helps prevent wrinkles. For completely tension-free advancing, increase the offset so the material advances from a constant slack loop. The brake parameter controls the lag time. A larger value increases the lag time. To minimize wrinkling, the spreader roller should always be lightly touching the material. Change the position of the roller by loosening and retightening the set screws. When the cutter reverses the material, the cradle feeder automatically rewinds it on the roll. Use the rewind button to rewind any remaining material. A rapid rewind feature is also available, which helps create tightly wound rolls that are easy to remove from the feeder and store for later use. For rolls with outward facing print, the material needs to be looped around the reverse roller. First, select the reverse wound function on the touchpad. Next, lower the reverse roller into the down position. The fabric will now be fed over the reverse roller with the print facing up.
For rolls that are difficult to unwind with layers that stick together, for example, the auxiliary shaft roll off may help. First, insert the auxiliary brackets supplied with the feeder in the side panel. Next, place the pressure roller inside the cradle. Thread the shaft through the roll and place it in the brackets. The material can now be advanced as usual.